Okay, following on from uh, the previous videos that I've done here, um, we're now going to be looking at finding the equation of a line in vector form. So I'm going to be using the same values that we've found before, uh, with the same coordinates, and we found the vector from A to B to be 1 minus 5, 6. Okay? Um, so effectively, this is information that you would need to have in order to be able to write down the equa vector equation of a line. So, what do we know already about the equations of a straight line? Well, what we know already um, is, for in two dimensions, we can look at y equals mx plus c. Okay, and what we have from that is that we have m being the gradient of the line and c being uh, the intercept with the y-axis. So we know that. So it's how can we generalize that into three dimensions? Well, we're not going to be using y here because we already use in three dimensions uh, x, y, z as being coordinates within a vector. Okay, so we're looking at x, y, and z here, and generally what we do is we refer to the x, y, z as being r. So we give this the value r, okay, with an underline. So r is the vector x, y, z, which includes um, how x, y, z are changing. So the equation begins with an r. So x, y, z is governed by what? So what we have here is we must know how, or have a gradient, this gradient m, or the concept of a gradient in three dimensions. The problem is that we can't just have a gradient as like a single number. So if you just take a, a ruler, for example, I could have a gradient or a steepness um, of, well, this, okay, so that's my line, but then I can t rotate it round, okay, and maintain the same effective gradient, but clearly the line is going in a very different direction, okay. So we can't just have a one value for my gradient, okay. So instead, what we have is a direction vector, a direction vector which says, right, the, the line is going in a particular direction. So the gradient must be given by a vector. So in our case, the direction vector, as we as it's called, um, is actually the direction from A to B, okay, and is given by this, the one minus five. 6. Okay, so that gives me the direction um, of a line going through A and B. However, although this line may well have the vector, direction vector of 1 minus 5, 6, so might this one. Okay, so this one would have the same direction vector because it's going in the same direction, but it may not necessarily be going through the same point. So it have the same direction, and it just and I can move the line around, okay? It would always have the same direction, but it wouldn't be going through the same point. And it's also got something to do with the length of it. So we must have firstly a multiplier, okay, depending on how long the line is, to describe where we are on it where that is usually put as lambda, okay? This is the Greek letter lambda, okay? Or in other cases, when we have two lines, we might use this letter, which is mu, okay? But lambda for this first case, so lambda is just a number, don't worry about it. It's a number instead of using a, b, c, okay? It's just used as a multiplier, okay? 
So we've got lambda lots of this direction vector, tells me how far along the line I am. And to fix the line in place, we must have a position vector. So this effectively means <clears throat> this is my C value. Okay. In two dimensions, the C tells me where the line cuts the y-axis. Okay. So in three dimensions, this position vector, as it were, as it's called, just tell, fixes the line and tells me exactly the point, a point that the line goes through. Okay. And it can be any point along the line. So I've got choices. I know it goes through A and I know it goes through B. So I would just pick A. So this describes the line perfectly. Um, so X, Y, and Z, the co any coordinate, any point along that line is equal to a multiplier of the direction vector Okay, which tells me how far along the line I am. And this position vector positions the line in place for me okay, to make sure it is exactly the line that I want. Otherwise, it could be any line in three-dimensional space um, that has that direction. Okay? So this is the um, equation in three dimensions that of the line that goes through A and B, okay? So it's a line that goes all the way through A and B. It doesn't stop, so it keeps on going. Um, it's not like it's just that line segment, but this is the line that goes through those two points.